You never let someone's one-dimensional perspective affect your multifaceted destiny. Who is this modern hero? My name is Lauren Lake, and this is my story. Google the name Lauren Lake and links will pop up for a lawyer, a professional singer, an author, an interior designer, an Emmy-nominated TV host, and a women's advocate, just to name a few. The only label I use is Limitless. But what's truly remarkable is that this laundry list of accomplishments belongs to one extraordinary woman who refuses to let labels define her. We get these labels and we can't escape them. And labels are limiting because they limit us from experiencing other things. That's a mindset Lauren adopted as a young girl growing up in Detroit, Michigan in the 1970s. Her parents defied societal standards, each earning PhDs at a time when opportunities were often limited for African Americans in the United States. Growing up, your parents always told you, you can be anything that you want to be if you set your mind to it. Yes. But you have to do well in school. Yes. I was smart in school, but I also loved to be creative and to sing and play violin. And I've always been into design. And my parents allowed me to do those things that helped shape my life. Lauren went on to law school, which she helped pay for by singing on the weekends. A week after graduating, she packed up and headed west while simultaneously studying for the Michigan bar exam. I immediately went to Los Angeles, California because I wanted to sing and I tried my hand at my wildest dreams. As fate would have it, Lauren's friend who picked her up from the airport had to stop by a recording studio. So Lauren tagged along and let's just say she made the most of it. And the chair spins around and it's Dr. Dre. He tells me about an audition that he's gonna be having in a few days for the MTV Movie Music Awards, which is crazy. And they're gonna, him and Snoop Dogg, they're gonna do this performance. And he goes, if you, you know, if you want to audition, it's gonna be on that. I'm like, what? Yes! That audition led to a life-changing gig. So within a week of coming to LA, I'm like backing up Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, and my whole family is like, what is this crazy girl doing? And what I was doing is just riding the wave of life. Lauren kept riding that wave, and for the next 10 years, she simultaneously pursued music and law careers, working alongside superstars like P. Diddy and Mary J. Blige, all while becoming licensed in three states and kicking off a career as a family law, entertainment, and criminal defense attorney. Why did you choose to focus on criminal defense? I was passionate and fascinated and also alarmed. What I would often see in those courtrooms is I would see young people of color and they would be waiting on court appointed services and not knowing anything about the legal process. And who's going to argue for them to have a second chance? Voice for the voiceless. Yes. Lauren carried that sense of purpose like a badge of honor, but didn't limit her aspirations to one or even two careers. You also always had this passion for design. Yes, I had no formal design training. I can sit in an empty room and through my imagination, I imagine the space and I begin my process from there. Together with her girlfriend, Teresa, the pair started L-Style Designs, helping people design their homes. And yup, it was another home run. We had so many clients, we didn't know what to do. We had day jobs. I'm like a lawyer, she's a real estate broker. We're designing houses. And it became this thing. Living Without Limits proved to be Lauren's powerful gift, and her talents caught the eye of producers from the Ricky Lake Show and Sony Pictures. I'll never forget the executive producer. They just looked at me and they're like, you're destined to have a career in television. So a career in television also became a thing. And Lauren quickly became the go-to legal expert and life coach on a variety of daytime shows and cable news. It doesn't hurt that you are a straight shooter on TV. You're compassionate, but you're like, no, this is, this is what's going on right now. Well, I always say I have an ability to tell people what they need to hear, which is not necessarily what they want to hear, but I say it with love. Lauren's reputation sizzled through the airwaves. 
and led her to opportunities she never imagined, like auditioning to host her own show on HGTV. Agent, she says, just take some of your kitchen, some before and afters, and, and then I got this little pink book, and I slid them in on the train, like before, after, before, after, and I was like, ooh, this little pink book is so cute. I thought I was so cute. When I get to the audition, and I walk in, and it was like full of like, design divas and then they are walking around with the big portfolios and they're sketching and I was like what in the world have I gotten myself into and so I'm literally saying to myself Lauren you about to embarrass yourself your parents what are you doing here in that moment I had to make a decision where I could decide to shrink back or just be courageous enough to step into the moment, ride the wave of life, seize the day, and own the opportunity, and be unapologetically me in that moment. And so I did that, and I ended up getting the show. But not everybody was celebrating. The executives at the cable news networks couldn't understand Lauren's idea of a limitless life. I remember being called into network offices, and they'd say to me, we really like you, but we heard you have this show on HGTV. When is that going to end? What? Excuse me? What do you mean, when is my show going to end? I'm, thank God it's on. I'm, you know, I'm making my living. What does that have to do with being a lawyer? And literally look me eye and say, but no one's going to take you seriously as a lawyer and a news anchor if you're also running around designing houses and picking out tiles. Says who? Is that your response to them? Yeah, says you, you know, Mr. One Dimensional. But let's really keep it real. Having the strength in that office to say, well, no, that's who I am and that's what I do. And from there, I did six seasons of an amazing show on HGTV called Spice Up My Kitchen. In 2013, riding her own wave of strength and courage led to Lauren's most high profile professional accomplishment yet. If you were playing, you wouldn't be in this courtroom. As the judge on Lauren Lake's paternity court. What? Where she marries her legal background with her passion for finding the truth. It has been determined by this court. Of who really is the father. We approach a subject that many would not talk about in public. And we try to deal with it responsibly and honor our families in the process. Nobody wakes up and says, I don't want to know who my baby's father is. You nailed it. And so in that moment, I try to tell women, often our mistakes do not have to define us. They can refine us. And whether that child is two months old, 22 years old, or 42 years old, and still don't know why they are not informed about who their father is or have a relationship with their father, I'm able to be that voice. Behind the scenes, Lauren is just as powerful as a wife and mother. Married in 2007 to Carlos Woods, a former NFL defensive coach who now runs his own business, the pair are the proud parents to their son, CJ. Very good, what's this called? This is how our family works. We FaceTime, we do spelling words over the phone. I'm in the makeup chair. Good morning, family. I call and check on the way to school. We make it work. Somebody as successful as you professionally in so many different fields. I can imagine it's not the easiest thing balancing home life, family life, work life. Oh gosh, absolutely. People perceive me to be such a superwoman in this. And I go, yeah, I mean, we as women, we all have superpowers. However, we have to be careful because that cape can choke the life out of you. And it's okay sometimes to just say, I don't feel powerful today. I need to take a day to day to sit and relax myself. And those things happen and it's okay. And Lauren preaches what she practices. That life is about the struggle. It's about overcoming every obstacle. She co-launched the Women in Entertainment Empowerment Network, AKA WEAN, an organization committed to supporting and promoting the positive portrayal of women in media. And 2018 marks her first Limitless Living Conference in Atlanta. We want to encourage more women to be in power positions in this industry because when we get in those positions, we're able to tell our stories. And I'm sure you know that, which is why this platform, Modern Hero, is so powerful and so necessary. Is your goal to develop almost an army of empowered, strong women to lift each other up? That is exactly what it is. 
because for so many of us, we're stuck in these places with our dreams and they're stagnant. And we really don't know how to get the tools and the resources to move to the next level. And that is hopefully what I'm helping women do through my work. I want people to understand that when the light is on you, you shine. If this modern hero inspires you, please share and don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook.